Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today I'm checking out the Corsa MP600 Pro 1TB NVMe drive. So let's get it unboxed. Okay, so this is a uh, one terabyte Gen 4 NVMe drive from Corsair, probably not a brand you'd immediately think of as uh, somebody who manufactures uh, these kind of devices. Normally it's kind of like keyboards and cases. Um, however, they have a number of these on the market now. They have two terabyte versions as well. And um, they, they have um, slightly slower ones as well. But this one uh, in particular, has uh, pretty decent speeds for it for a Gen 4 NVMe drive. Now, I previously reviewed the um, Sabrum Rocket NVMe driver Gen 4 drive as well. There's a link up above if you want to watch that video. Um, but uh, this particular one from Corsair uh, has figures to literally blow that Sabrum drive straight out of the water. So. We're going to do a little bit of performance testing on this, but just to give you some idea of uh, costs for this. So this is in the UK, this is £163 for the one terabyte version. There's going to be links down below if you want to pick one of these up. Um, it uh, reportedly has uh, 7,000 megabytes a second um, sequential read and 5,500 megabytes a second uh, sequential write, so um, quite a jump up from the uh, Sabrum Rocket. It's, it's using 3D t uh, TLC NAND memory, um, so you know that's pretty fast for uh, something like this. Uh, five year warranty as well, so a good solid uh, warranty on it, and uh, it is in your uh, 2280 uh, M.2 uh, form factor. So. Um, let's get it unboxed and just see what you actually get inside and, and then we'll do some performance testing. Fairly decent packaging from Corsair. Uh, all the details on the front here, as you can see, PCIe um, NVMe uh, Gen 4, one terabyte version as I say, and then you've got these stats on the bottom, the 7,000 7, megabytes second. Um, you know, interestingly, the 360,000 IOPS uh, as, as well. So on the back, uh, pretty much just the same uh, information. They're really all in different languages. So what we'll do, we'll just get this packaging open, get this out of the box, and there you go. So um, basically a, a couple of uh, little leaflets, safety information, and then um, yeah, how to install an NVMe drive. There is a link up above if you want to watch my video about that. Um, fairly generic for installing this kind of stuff, but you know they've got instructions there in the various languages. So just put that to one side at the moment. And then, um, well, this is the uh, NVMe drive itself. So um, quite a nice looking unit. It comes pre-fitted uh, with a heat sink. Uh, it's an all black uh, design. Just turn it the right way up. And yeah, I mean, you know, it's, um, well, what are your thoughts on that, guys? You know, I don't think this is too in your face. You know, if you've got kind of like a uh, an, an all black system, I think this would look quite nice uh, sat on your motherboard. Um, it does look like you can take off this heatsink. There are these kind of like little clips on the side. So I guess, you know, if you did want to use a different heatsink on this, um, you know, maybe something that, uh, wasn't uh, quite so um, kind of defined as this, then you know, maybe maybe you can go for for something else. You know, you could you could unclip that. Um, personally, I'd I'd leave this in place. I think you know it looks um, you know quite a, a reasonable heatsink. It's got a good weight to this. Certainly, an awful lot better than the heat sinks that you're going to get with your motherboard. So we'll just pop that back in, and we'll get that installed in the PC. So in the same way that I uh, tested the uh, Sabrent Rocket NVMe drive, I'm going to do the same kind of tests on this Corsair MP600 drive. And basically that comprises of uh, a couple of things here. What I've got, I've got a large file 
copy tests, so it's a read and write test on the drive, and um, uh, also a small file copy test. So the, the large file is 130 gigabytes, roughly, give or take a few bytes. The small file copy test is, um, it's about five and a half gigabytes with um, just under a thousand files there, about five point something megabytes each. Um, so um, a good uh, different variations there on, on copying files. As I say, I'll be copying those, uh, uh, writing them obviously onto the MP600 and they'll be read from a Samsung uh, 850 uh, EVO drive. And then what I'll actually do then is I'll do a, a similar um, read and, and write from the uh, Sabre Rocket NVMe drive as well. However, even though that is a Gen 4 NVMe drive, because I'm using a B550 um, motherboard, that uh, drive will be in the slot which will only support Gen 3. So bear that in mind on the, uh, the overall speeds. However, it should give you a good indication of how good or bad this Corsair drive is. Um, we'll also look at some of the heat temperatures as well uh, for the drive whilst it's doing these copy processes and um, we'll also have a look at what Crystal Disk Mark has to say about it as well. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go through, um, fast forward kind of like the, the clip so you can see what's actually going on here. We'll start off with the large file copy. So this is going from the Samsung drive uh, through writing onto the um, the Corsair NVMe. So just show you um, here just for the any doubters out there. So drive J, as you can see here on disk management, drive J is the MP600 drive. Um, so we're going to copy this uh, 130 gig onto that. Uh, when that's finished, we're, we're then going to copy on the uh, the small file. So this is the five and a half gigabytes as well. So that gives us our kind of like our, our writing performance on this drive. So now we're going to take those files and copy those onto the uh, Sabrent Rocket NVMe drive. So obviously from this point of view, you know, there's good performance from the, the Corsair drive onto the NVMe drive from, uh, from Sabrent as well. And I'm also going to copy that back onto the Samsung 850 EVO drive as well so you can see what the difference is there so you, you know hopefully you'll see what kind of uh, performance improvement you've got there so this gets repeated for the large files and the small files uh, and that's what you're seeing taking place now so there'll be a little slide with the overall comparison of figures here but I think it's really interesting to see that uh, straight away you can see the performance of the Corsair drive certainly when it's copying to another NVMe drive um, you know, it starts off at two gigabytes a second. And, um, you know, that's pretty impressive. Obviously it does slow down because of the performance of the, the drive, the um, Sabrent Rocket being in the Gen 3 uh, configuration. But that being said, I think if you, you had a motherboard that had uh, support for two Gen 4 uh, slots, so like an NX570, for example, um, and you had two, two of these drives, uh, within that, uh, that that configuration on the motherboard, these things would um, you know, absolutely fly. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to have a look at the temperatures of uh, that drive, the MP600, whilst it was doing that copy. And as you can see, it, um, you know, it's got the heat sink on it and it actually only went up a couple of degrees during that. So um, you know, not a, a massive amount of thrash in the drive going on there you know it is just uh, you know two lots of copying files but um, you know it's not a massive increase in, in overall temperature and I think you know you'd probably have to thrash this thing uh, c consistently for, for quite a while before you even got anywhere near the throttling on this. Now the uh, Sabrent is actually running uh, in my system without a heatsink on it at the moment as you can see it is actually significantly hotter than the uh, Corsair drive so something to really think about there as to you know whether you should be running these drives with or without a heat sink so let's just have a look at what crystal disk mark had to make of the mp600 
so this is just in default mode, really default settings, run it five times. And as you can see there, 7,119 megabytes a second read and 5,430 megabytes per second for the write speed. So right on really what Corsair have put on the packaging. Really, really impressive figures. So a little slide here, just giving you all these figures uh, so you can see, put them all into perspective. And I'm also going to add on what the figures were for the uh, Savant Rocket uh, Gen 4 MVME. And, uh, you know, just for kind of like comparison for you guys, same kind of test that was done for that. <music> So there you go, guys. That is my uh, testing of the Corsair MP600 Pro 1TB NVMe drive. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this, uh, You know what, what you think of the result of that. For me, uh, I think it is, um, well, it's, it's an outstanding drive, and um, I'm genuinely surprised at the performance. Of it, I think, as, as I say, you know, if you have a motherboard which would support a pair of these, and these were the only drives that were in your uh, your system, I think your system would absolutely fly. Obviously, we've got Gen 5 on the horizon, so things are only going to get faster than this. But you know, if you are um, maybe you just you've got a hard disk drive, spinning disk drive at the moment, you're looking to upgrade, um, you know, the drive in that system. Uh, I think you could do um, very little better uh, than uh, this particular drive as being your, your primary drive within that system. I think it would absolutely fly um, with the right uh, CPU in there as well. So if you've enjoyed the video, then don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help with YouTube's algorithms. And if you're new around here, then why not subscribe to the channel? So hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get informed of new content on the channel. But as always, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.